Fruitodends are really cool and really small dinosaurs that walked around on two legs. So if some dinosaurs walked on four legs and others on two, how did dinosaurs like Fruitodends walk on two legs without falling over? That's right, balance. Balance is what keeps everything from falling over. To understand balance, you need to understand center of mass. The center of mass of an object is the point where all of the object's mass is evenly distributed. Hmm, that's confusing. Let's look at an example. Grab a ruler or a pencil. Try to balance it on one finger. Notice where you have to put your finger. It's probably in the middle. That's the center of mass. The weight is distributed evenly on either side of your finger. Now add a little weight like a coin to one side and try to balance again. Do you have to move your finger? Yes, you did, because your center of mass moved. Even people have centers of mass. Let's try and find it. Stand up nice and tall. Where's your center of mass? It's right around your belly button. But humans and fruitodens are a little different. Humans stand up straight, and fruitodens are positioned forward. What if a human tried to stand like a fruitodens? That's right, they would fall over because your center of gravity moved from your belly button to outside your body. So then a fruitodens center of mass is outside their body, how do fruitodens not fall over? Their tails act as something called a counterbalance. Counterbalances work by matching weight on either side of the center of mass. The tail of the fruitodens counterbalances their upper body. Remember the coins from the ruler example? The coins acted as counterbalances too. We actually see counterbalances all the time. Have you ever seen a crane? They are able to work to pick up heavy objects because they have counterweights on the other end, counterbalancing the weight of the load that is being picked up. Can you think of any other counterbalances you've seen? Explore these concepts and try balancing your own dinosaur on the curiosity machine.